Do you guys remember a couple of years ago that everything gray interior design trend? I had a gray couch, gray walls. I even painted my coffee table gray. This coffee table right here, <laughs> my dad made me. He made it. He, we had these plans from Anna White and in 2016, when I bought my house, he built me this beautiful wooden table. And what did I do? I, I didn't know what I was doing. I painted it with latex paint latex so of course a couple months later maybe a year later the latex started to peel off of it so i'm going to redo this table to match my house hopefully one last time so the first thing i need to do is remove as much latex paint as i can from the table and i'm going to use citrus strip to do this i know for a fact that i have at least three layers of water-based polyurethane on this and then i know i have two layers of latex paint and one actually three layers because i did a whitewash over it so three layers of latex at least two or three coats of poly so there are six coats to be removed using one coat of citrus strip is not going to remove six layers of paint there's just no way i know that i'm gonna at least need to do two and that's the least but the way I figure it is, is if I could just get some of these layers off, then I can sand the rest off. It's been about an hour. I've let it just sit outside underneath the plastic and I take a little bit off to do some testing and some is coming off. I can see that uh, the poly is coming off. So I'm just going to probably add at this point two coats of the citrus strip. I don't wanna keep wasting a lot of this plastic. I'm just going to take it off section by section and then recover it with my plastic wrap. And don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, I would love it if you hit that like button. And now here's me taking off the second coat of citrus strip. I can see a lot of the wood underneath. So, I mean, it, the paint is still on there, but it's looking a lot better. So I know it's gonna be easier if I just use my sander to get the rust off. Cause this is just such a mess. Citrus strip is so messy. Any chemical stripper is really messy. Before I can start sanding, I need to wash all the citrus strip off. So I'm using extra fine steel wool and some odorless mineral spirits. Because I've already stripped most of the sealer and some of the latex paint off, I'm having a pretty simple time sanding it. I'm using a 120 grit sanding paper to remove the rest of the latex paint. I tried to sand the edges, but it wasn't working out. So now I'm using the carbide scraper and I'm just gonna scrape that off. And it actually works way better with the carbide scraper. And then afterwards, I just use my mouse sander to sand any you know leftover little pieces off. Now to get in all these little grooves, I'm going to use another scraper with a pointed tip to remove the latex and any of the citrus strip that was left. I also found using the wire brush was pretty helpful for the cleanup. Now I'm going to use some plastic wood 
And this is just some wood filler. It's pink when it goes on and when it dries, it'll be natural and I can stain it. I'm doing this because if you've ever, ever had a table, it collects in all the grooves, it'll collect all the dust and dirt. Um, and I just, it drives me crazy to clean. So I am opting to fill the grooves and it's just, that's my personal preference for this. I sanded all the wood filler flush and I brought the piece inside. Now I'm gonna clean the bottom and I am not removing the paint off of the bottom. I'm just gonna cover it with some mineral paint. And that's because this is for my own home. If I was selling it, I would have removed the paint from the bottom also. So I'm gonna use Carts and Millie's Boutique Furniture Paint in Black Bear. I, this is a mineral paint and there is a built-in top coat. So I'm not gonna have to top coat the bottom of the piece. And it's not a high traffic area, so this paint was ideal to use. And I'm using the high density foam roller because the areas are so flat, it's just gonna be really easy for me to apply. I get pretty good coverage with only one coat, but I did add two coats and I waited about two hours in between the coats. Sometimes when you're using a roller, the finish can look like a little spongy, like there's kind of dots all over, but with Carts and Millie's paint, it self levels. So by the time the paint dries, it dries really nice and flat and smooth. And for the top of the piece, I want it to be really natural looking. So I'm using Carts and Millie's washed away stain in How Now. It's a water-based stain, so I can use it in the house. There's no crazy odors or anything. Um, it's just really lovely to work with. I'm using my chip brush to apply it, and I wipe it away with just a rag. I loved how it went on, and I love how it looked so natural. Natural is like really in right now, but I still wanted there to be some warmth. That's why I chose How Now, and I think this was the perfect color choice. In keeping with the idea of natural wood, I'm gonna use a matte sealer for the top. Um, I'm using Verithane's water-based polyurethane and I'm gonna apply three coats onto the top. I want it to be matte because I, I just love the finish. I love the natural wood. If it's really shiny, um, I think it would look beautiful shiny to be honest, but just for this piece of furniture I just want it to look a little bit rustic So we're gonna go with something that's a little bit more natural, which would be the mat Here's a quick reminder of what it looked like when we first started and here it is today. I love it. I really, really, really love it. I just think it, it is gonna match my house so much better now. <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new here, I would love it if you subscribed and I'll see you next time with another furniture makeover.